What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another Starfield video, and we are picking up our journey right where we left off. Uh, so, not sure what we're gonna do today. Maybe some side quests, maybe some main quests, the sky's the limit. Uh, but, first thing I wanna take out, Thanks. take a look at is our skills. So we have one skill point to spend, and I think I wanna spend it on commerce, because I wanna be able to buy stuff for less. So buy for 10% less, sell for 15% more. And when you get to four, that's a 20, buy for 20% less and sell for 25% more. That's what I care about the most. Cause I wanna be able to buy and sell ships for a lot more than we are. And I wanna have the ship command. So we need nine more skill points spent in this tree in order to get ship command. You say what? And one thing I noticed. Read any good books lately? When you're selling stuff at a vendor, Make sure you pay attention to the number of credits that Vendor has. I just sold a bunch of stuff right before I started this video to get it out of the way. And I only got paid for like the first 4,000. The rest, all the I sold some expensive stuff. Got nothing. Didn't notice it until the end. <laughs> so let's talk to Sarah Morgan. It said she wanted to talk to us to see what Sarah has to say. Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. I could tell it was still bothering you. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. Let's go. Yeah, let me help you. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. You never told me where you ended up after the battle. Was there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely, or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. Alaning, it's impressive that you soft landed after an emergency jettison that close to the exosphere. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. What do you know about Cassiopeia? It has a breathable atmosphere, indigenous fauna, and maybe a few abandoned mining outposts. Otherwise, it's not populated. I like Sarah a lot. I really do. What are you hoping to find at your old campsite? My shuttle should have the telemetry tracking data for the other shuttle aboard. It should give us an idea where it went down. That's if scavengers haven't completely stripped my ship for parts. I'll set course. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Sound like they're friends. I'm sensing tension between you and Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Crusades are my specialty. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. I really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Ah, if I begin to fall apart, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. I, oh, I 100% have your back. I'll have your back. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand. Are we, are we doing this again? We already tried to tell her we love her once. I do love her. It's because I love you, sir. Please. I 
I don't know what to say. Ah, oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. Just not ready. Not yet. When are you ready then? <laughs> Wait, she just basically admitted that she loves us. He finally admitted that she has feelings for us. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. There, we would do anything for you. Sarah Morgan considers Hello, you there. a friend. I thought she considers us more than a friend. Wait. <laughs> no, hey, we didn't. We didn't just you put time, Bruce in the I've friend been zone. Thinking about some things. <sighs> of course she did. <laughs> oh my! What what mission is this? It's a uh, activity, maybe. A mission. With Selm Co. They all want to talk to us. Just watch. We're going to get in a little love triangle. I don't know if you're able to be in a relationship with more than one character. Where is her mission? Oh, this one. Yep, that's it. In. Where am I? Are we going to the. Is that where we're supposed to go? The lounge? Okay. Here. I'm glad we found another ship in the last episode. So I watched back, remember when I lost that legendary weapon? And I, I watched back and it was, it did glitch the inventory. But I also walked out into four people with shotguns. While we're here, let's swing by Centaurian so I can pick up some ammo. Oh, you want some ammo? Wait, I thought you should have ammo. If you ammo. don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind at all, but that's not what I'm worried about I'm right carrying? now. So why do you have 11 weapons? Let's take these weapons, because that might be confusing her. I just want her to use Deadeye. So let's take all of her weapons away. Okay. You just need the one type of ammo in there, so that that's the 7-7, seven, seven, I believe. So we can take these. Oh, I didn't mean that. Whoops. So she needs 7.55. I need to go into my inventory and give her 7.55. I don't know. My guess is it has to be the caseless. And I believe you just have to give them like just one. I don't think they need a full magazine or anything. I need to make sure I give her grenades and stuff too. I never thought about that. So she has a bullet. They basically get unlimited ammo as long as they have one bullet. Okay. And then... What? Grenades. Throwables. There we go. Let's give her a grenade. I believe they get unlimited grenades as well. I could be wrong on that one. And I need to buy med kits while we're here. Why do we have a... Uh, why do we have a stolen item? <laughs> oh... Did I do that? Wait. When? Whoops. And this is our ship stuff. Okay. Go to Sarah's inventory. And we have the dead eye equipped. Let's equip it again. Space suit. Probably wants this one. We probably have a better space suit we can give her. I don't even know if that matters, honestly. She doesn't need all this, though. 
And we need to kind of, we need to send this to the ship whenever we get back. It is way too much. It does have throwables. We should be able to equip that. There we go. We equip that. She has her new weapon. She should have ammo there. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. She only says that she needs ammo. Does she? Wait, we need to find our parents' house. I'm gonna have to Google that because I don't remember where the hell. <laughs> You'll be scanned as you I don't enter where the they live. We went in an elevator. I do remember that. We went in an elevator. Is there an activity associated with that? Anybody tell me where our parents' house is? Wait, completed, right? Wouldn't that be a completed one to our parents' house? Or was that not a mission? Oh, I don't think it was a mission. So I'm gonna have to Google that after we start this conversation here. It has to be in the residential district, right? One of you might have said in a comment a long time ago, but I'm recording these a lot like in rapid kind of like whenever I'm playing it right so I may be a lot of videos ahead in this point but you never know maybe not if you don't mind I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later that's what we're doing <laughs> we couldn't get up there. Oh my. That was embarrassing. Okay, let's save it. What we've learned and what I've learned in this playthrough, save Greetings, often. citizen. Welcome to the UC. Next time terror morphs rear their ugly heads, the UC is going to be ready. Sarah Morgan. It's been what, almost 10 years? Admiral, it's uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? I'm here to support Sarah as a friend. Very well. Then, as a good friend, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. Okay, first of all, we are in the UC. We are part of your all's organization. 
<laughs> You're treating me like it, <laughs> I mean, okay. Sarah is here to honor the fallen that served under her command. Wait, why do I have no sound? You all have sound? What? I've got nothing. I... Oh. I don't know. Okay. Maybe we should reload and, well, I missed that. I'm going to reload. I don't know. That was weird. Our sun, our sound cut out completely. At least mine did. And it looked like it did. It kind of looked like the game froze. It looked like the game just kind of sit still. Hello. Hey. Pardon. Did you all notice that? The loss of life. The damage to the spaceport. The costs of this attack are greater than I think we realize. Sarah Morgan. It's been what? Almost ten years? Admiral, it's uh good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Her voice Admiral, is amazing. Please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Very well. Then, is it... With all due respect... I don't have a prop. That's quite a noble job. It's about Cassio. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. The emotional pain Sarah's been suffering has to end. I understand. Mental scars left by war rarely heal quickly, if ever at all. I sympathize with your struggle, Commander. I want to put an end to the sleepless nights. The nightmares waking up in cold sweat. It's been difficult, Admiral. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to your slates. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Sarah is such, has such a good heart, too. Like, just a really good character. All right, so... Let's go. Our ship can jump a hundred and it can jump forever. We don't have to worry about anything with our ship. We can just go. <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts about All our new right. ship. Oh, that was fast. Just got an achievement. Visit 20 star systems. Let's take a, yeah, let's take a photo.
I remember that screenshot. That's an incredible like way to do photo mode where you actually show your screenshots and your journey and you get to revisit these moments you already had. It's amazing. Landing struts primed, retros fire. Our ship might not be the prettiest, <laughs> but it sure gets the job done with cargo. <laughs> it doesn't look pretty though, I will say that. It doesn't look ugly, but like it's not. A perfect. I can't believe I'm here. It feels like walking into a dream. Maybe you'd be better off staying on the ship? Oh, I'm gonna say you got this, Sarah. Oh, thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes. Yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Promise you'll let me know if this becomes too much to handle you. No matter what we discover, I'll be here to support you. Knowing that is the only reason that I'm here. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go. Let's do this, sir. Wish it was daytime, though. It's like a beautiful planet. Actually, let's let's go to sleep. I gotta. I want to see this planet in the daytime. Don't. It's okay, Sarah. It can wait till tomorrow. We both need our rest. Go to the captain's quarters. Sleep a good 10 hours. Let's get a great sleep. It's funny, like you talk about the days in in game days that we played this game is a lot, right? We've only slept barely in it. It's about time. You Come on, sleepyhead. <laughs> You love to watch watch us sleep, don't you, Sarah? Like her favorite thing ever, isn't Man, it? The galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. <laughs> From what I'm seeing, this world has all the essential building blocks to support life. That's the view I wanted. Whoa. One thing I wish in photo mode is that I just forget you can get to photo mode quicker another way. Look at this. This is when the graphics of the game really shine. Can we get a picture, sir? Maybe over here. Like here. Right there. Good. And got to take our picture here at the home base, right? Or at her old base. It actually kind of looks... <laughs> that's actually perfect. Perfect screenshot. Kind of looks like they're holding hands, which is setting up their relationship. This planet is awesome. Where are, we need to remember to build a base here. Can we build a base here? No?
so I just figured this out. You can hold down, so right trigger and left trigger at the same time to do it faster. So you, you basically boost. So you, you, if you see, watch, so you see that aim marker, everybody, right there? If I hold down left trigger, you see how it gets smaller? So you concentrate your charge. What is that? After all these years, it's still here. It's like we're in the Grand Canyon. This is awesome. I'm going to walk up there and take a picture. When you're holding down this left trigger. must be some debris from my shuttle. Not exactly a textbook landing, but I didn't have much of a choice. Well, we might as well take all your stuff. This is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? Well, it's a pretty place, though. I can't even imagine what it must have been like. It was difficult and painful, but it kept me alive. It was home. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. There must be one around here somewhere. Sure, if we're lucky. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. Said it's where I wanted to go anyways, so let's go. This planet is beautiful. That's a game changer, being able to do that. I don't know if it's every cutter or only like the special cutters. We, we took this one from the mine, if you all remember. Was it somebody else's? Technically, if you want to get technical. It is, technically, you know, in a way. This planet's gorgeous. Put on our protective barrier so we can run sprint. I'm not sure power like that was meant for humankind. Well, it might not have been meant for human time, humankind, Sarah, but we've got it. We're sitting here comforting her, and then she says that. We gotta take a screenshot up here. Maybe like this way? Yep, turn around. Act like you're happy at least. <laughs> Let's get a little smile on the face or something. Not bad.
I wish you could place the companions here. Like where you want them. I kind of want to take it. I kind of want that in the background too. Let's reposition. And right, Sarah, come this way. Come this way, Sarah. Come on. Yep, and then come back. That's might be good there. Always turns. No, don't turn. Don't turn. What? Okay. I mean, that's okay. It's not what I wanted. What are you... <sighs> All right, sir. Wait, what if we tell her? No, if we wait there, it's not going to do it. Wish you could switch to him for just a second, just for the picture mode. We need to take a picture up there. Before I grab the... Well, let's just grab it. How convenient. Power cell. Wait, oh! I don't oh my! What? This is where she used to live? Sarah, why are you punching him? Apparently we gave her the wrong gun. Away. Oh, did it? No. Well, that's not good. Sarah, I'll try to get back to you. It's not looking good. I think I've got to go all the way around. Actually, she'll be fine, right? She didn't die. Now, what did I... Did I give her the wrong gun? There... Oh. She didn't die, did she? There she is. There we're okay, settle down. Everything's fine. Why do you have I guess they ran away. Make sure you strip everything useful from that. Why are we stopping? Feel free to drop some stuff. 7.55. We've got that. It's not equipped. What that gun, sir? I hope that emergency power cell can revive the shutter's there it is. computer. Now shoot. So unequipped. Let's get in a fight again. We'll shoot something. Sarah, do you care if I stop and take a picture up here? Yes. Take it now. <laughs> Look 
Look at that athleticism. <laughs> ah, that's not great, is it? We can get we can do better than that. Wait. Maybe not. Oh, we got to get to the right. I see it now. We'll, we'll go ahead and take this. Not a great picture, but it'll do. Yes, there it is. Perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. Now stand right here. Oh, this is it. This might be the screenshot of the game so far. This could be the one. What an awesome planet, though. I still want a better angle. We're becoming a space photographer now. Well, that's not bad. Max amount of photos? What? You're kidding me. Well, I guess let's delete the duplicates. What do you mean the max amount of photos? I guess it's just like it sounds. <laughs> oh, this photo is amazing. We have two of the same ones. We don't really need two of the same ones. Why do we have like... Okay, so some of them were duplicates. I can't believe there's a- I mean, I guess there has to be a limit. Well, there doesn't have to be. What if that's just an Xbox thing? That's- this is exactly what I wanted. That view- something like this. That's perfect. I think that is our best screenshot of the game so far. Right there. Beautiful. Sorry, sorry sir. We, uh... Yeah. We got distracted. Doing something very important. Don't you worry. Almost out of space with screenshots. That... That's a big deal. We, I need to heal. We always hurt. And we never had med packs. Never. Now that was fun. Wait. No, shoot your gun. Wait, shoot your gun. Or not. Sarah seems to be glitched. I broke something. Clearly. Or maybe she just really wants to melee. She's so mad she doesn't punch some things. Did I give her the wrong ammo? Sarah, are you gonna be okay? Why are we stopping? What? I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. Said that before. Um. Hmm. This clear. She. It's clearly not working. 
She said she didn't have ammo earlier, right? What kind of ammo does that... Maybe let's give her a different gun? Maybe she needs enough to fill a magazine. What does she used to use? This one? I think she used the Equinox. If she wants to melee, should we just give her a melee build? If you want to melee, we can make that happen. What's a gun I never use? The drum? Where's the drum gun? I have a blue, I believe a, oh, this one. Let's give her that one. So give, this is 11 millimeters. So we should be able to give her, oh, we have tons of this. So I'm just going to give her a lot. I don't even think I used it at 11. Maybe my pistol uses it. I bet she needs enough to fill the magazine. Maybe it not, maybe it's not just one. I thought it was just one ammo. But let's just give her 100. If we need some back, we can take it. So there we go. So now we go to Sarah. Go to the weapons. We equip it. She's got it. Ammo. Let's take this one back, because clearly she doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> And, uh, okay, we don't have to equip ammo. We have grenades equipped already. She didn't use it. There you I go. I hope that emergency power cell can revive the shuttle's computer. Well, I'm just hoping you can shoot a gun. So let's, let's go test this theory. Where's something we can fight? But what do you know? We're almost out of ammo again. Okay. Shoot that. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need to fight something bit bigger than that. I wonder if the character has to have a specialty in a certain weapon to find. I don't want to think so. Or it could be a glitch in the game, right? power system please reconnect all power flow couplings to the ship's main power to fully clear okay all ship oh so we got okay so we got the information on the other crash ship been two days since my since my crash landing on Cassiopeia. I've been slipping in and out of consciousness, but I've been able to use emergency meds to keep my pain levels to minimal. Medical self-assessment has revealed three cracked ribs, a broken forearm, a minor concussion, probable internal damage, and a lot of bruises. I'll do the best that I can to push through, but I can't allow my injuries to keep me from reaching Shuttle O2. Tomorrow, I plan to do a full re reconnector? Of the area? Reconitor? I don't know that word. And search for some high ground to place my distress beacon. With any luck, some ships are still in orbit and they'll receive my signal. For now, I'm going to rest, eat a bit of my food rations, and pray that the other shuttle isn't too far from my location. Yeah, she no physical condition to even attempt. Wow. Well, poor Sarah. Now, this is day 14 or entry 14 been nearly a month and I'm down to my final three power cells. If I want to make them last, I'm going to have to disconnect them from my ship's computer system, which means I lose access to my computer and my short range transmitter. If Shuttle 2 makes any attempt to reach out to me, all they're going to receive is silence. It's a horrible decision to have to make, but if Shuttle 2 hasn't contacted me by now, it's unlikely that they ever will. I don't know if that means their comm system is simply damaged or they left their crash site or if they're even alive. My only hope is continuing to power the distress beacon in hopes of being picked up and then searching for them from the air. Poor Sarah. We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked.
You made this all possible, Sarah. Well, we're not there yet. But damn, it does feel good. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. Do you have any... He had an ammo in here. I'm gonna reduce his fuel needed. Nice. To prepare his fundamentals. I kind of want to find another one of those things to see if Sarah's gun work. Before we travel back to her ship, we gotta find out if she can shoot. Okay, there we go. Come on, Sarah. Yes. You need a whole magazine. And she threw a grenade. I'm gonna need another gun. 1,000 ammo? Make sure you clean that off before you stow it in your bag. You worry about me, sir. Thousand shots. Do we have any other guns that take that ammo? No. So now we're out of ammo again. So we're gonna have to go back and buy Beowulf. Wait, can we craft ammo? Let's go to the ship and see. I don't actually know if you can. Anybody know? There's that picture. Beautiful. That's a beautiful picture. I can't believe they have a limit to the amount of pictures. I mean, it, I guess it takes up too much space in the Xbox cloud, right? Sad. That's going to really limit the amount of screenshots we take. I bet on PC there's no limit. This game, I don't know what it is. This game runs great on my Xbox Series X, right? Well, I want to say it runs solid on the Xbox Series X. It's not perfect as we've seen multiple times, but on PC, I have a PC that's stronger than a console. I can't get above, I can't even get 30 FPS. I have to drop it to 1080p and move everything to low, but then it looks terrible. I don't know what it is about PC optimization, but it is it's not good. If the other crash site turns out to be a dead end. <sighs> I do. You must have read my mind. Well, Andresia always gives us It's money. only a short hop to the second crash site. Sarah. So... We gotta the find out if we can... Trust me. It's the worst. Craft ammo. That would probably be research, industrial workbench, maybe. No, because that's probably how you build. Not what we need. Not research lab. Space. It's not spacesuit. So we can modify our weapons here. What if we modify it the Beowulf? Like an all oh, we can put an optic on it. I don't want a scope, I don't think. Well, short scope might be fine. Oh, we don't have the stuff for it. Increase stability and hip fire actually at the cost of long range. 
Muzzle. Increases long range action stability at the cost of hip fire. Ooh, suppressor. Capacity reduces acoustic intensity with increasing accuracy. We yeah, we're putting that on there. Can we? Oh, we don't have a polymer. That stinks. We can at least put a muzzle brake. No, we can't. Increases actually and aim down sight speed. Ooh. Grip that increases aim down sight speed, reload speed, and stability. I think we've got to go that one. We can't. Let's just build this one. Maybe we should call this exploration thing quits and open a weapons shop. Maybe we should, Sarah. That might actually be a good idea. They need to add a trade terminal where you can ship stuff to your ship. Is <laughs> we're before this mission, we're gonna have to stop by the ammo shop all the way up at Gila, Gila City. Which is in Cheyenne, right? I finally remember that it's in Cheyenne. Up here. Up there. We've got to go all the way there. Good thing we can jump forever, right? Welcome to Free Star Space. Wait. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband and you can be on your way. And that's it. Enjoy that Aquila City air. I must have clicked the wrong place. That's a screenshot we can probably get rid of. It's not, it's not that one's not too great. It's kind of cool with that creature in the background. Those were mean. You remember? Y'all remember those things? Go buy ammo. There has to be a better system for this, right? Hello. Sarah probably you is so me, confused. I don't do payment plans or lines of credit. Just so you know. Do payment plans. Keep it to self-defense. Let's sell first. Do we have anything to sell? Oh, yeah, we don't need this. If four of these, let's sell three. Yes, three thousand dollars left. Let's sell Rendell. They don't even need the need the Kraken. Ultra. That. Need that. Do we need? That's a good question. What, what is all this stuff? <laughs> what do we have here? Wait. How do we have this? 11, that's worth 11,000. I thought that's... Is that a new item? Not new. 
I guess we got it from Sarah? Or do we have two of them now? No, we took it back from Sarah, right? So it's just saying, it's saying it's new. Where's our gun? Beowulf? 777. Sure, Laredo makes... I'm sure I got what you need. B32, how much is that? 2,000? That's not bad at all. What We need to check. What we need to do is sort our weapons, right? Sort them by... Sort them by weapon... Sort them by ammo, right? Because what we have now is kind of a mess. I say so myself. Okay. So we have... Deadeye that uses 7.5... I, I wish on this screen it showed you how much ammo you have. Like, you could look at the gun. There's so much quality of life that this game does not have. That could be a nice little weapon to have. We run out of ammo. So let's put it. What do we have no ammo for? Hunting rifle? You can buy ammo for it. We need 9 by 39 and 12 gauge shell. I'm gonna buy that before I forget. Outlaws? Odd. Don't make me regret this now. You too, okay. And then. No, the case, it's 12 gauge. We haven't found the 12 gauge at any store. It's unfortunate. So we kind of, I guess we just take the shotgun off for now. We, 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 we did find that one earlier as I bring up that legendary shotgun we missed. We'll keep that. Poison odor with hunting rifle. Curious modified lawgiver. This takes 224, two, that has 289, light fuse, heavy fuse. 3kv laser what else takes laser 3kv laser okay the equinox the modified orion we knew that nova blast is not i wish the beowulf did imagine if that gun took laser yeah i don't think any of the other ones do And then we have modified Grendel. And then that's 777. Six. So we don't want to use the 777 because that's what our main gun used. Yeah. So we want to get rid of that one. We 6.5. We have one 6.5 too here. And we need to put something here that not use. Maybe like the 7.5. What about the Deadeye? That's a 7.5. We could put that in for the Grendel. I don't know if we have any. We can look. No, we have seven shots. And that's a med pack. And we should be good to go then. I wanna move I'm gonna move the Beowulf. What did I just do? Whoops. I'm gonna move the Cutlass here. Move the Beowulf to here. There we go. Because there are all rifles there. But we need... 7.55. I don't do payment plans. You seem all right. So now we have ammos of all the varieties. Wait, is this it? Is it white hot?
Not very many of them there. Yeah, that is it. That's expensive ammo. Okay. You would think this is a place for the Free Star Collective. It's a gun we got from them. They don't have very much ammo. All right, Sarah. <laughs> like, our ship can jump anywhere. It's amazing. Oh, there's that screenshot. We'll never forget it. You all were there. For Bruce and Sarah's moment. I like Andresia, I just don't know if I trust her to be honest. She keeps throwing out random stuff that makes you question. Might as well use the gun. No, we'll save that one. Let's use our Beowulf first. Another thing this game needs is an FOV slider for first person make it easier to see. Oh, look at this view. Had I been on this planet under more pleasant circumstances, I might have had more time to appreciate the beauty it has to offer. Oh, if only we had a little bit better weather, honestly. Messed up that photo. can jump on the trees okay this planet's awesome we've got to build a base here this is amazing Wait, what's that a city structure i know that <laughs> that's not very specific oh it's a structure thank you how far on a low gravity Planet, can we keep flying up and recharge? Not very far. This is so fun. This planet's amazing. Let's save it. What's left of the cruise shuttle, but it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Yeah, it definitely else. looks like they survived. Could there have been survivors? I think there might have been. What's on this planet? Oh, we didn't. I don't think we scanned it from the air. Whoa. They have a full base. I can't take much more of this. Wait, what's wrong, sir? <laughs> can't take much more. They've got look, they they planted they've survived here. So they've been here just waiting, wow. shoot if I have to just turn around and, and leave 
I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh my god. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go. Empath, easy there. I know this must be terribly frightening for you, but I promise to you that we're only here to help. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? We're here to honor the crew that died on this planet. The crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here. Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents, your mum and your dad, what were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberst. You're their daughter. Listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. Sarah and I are glad we found you. What did your parents tell you about Sarah? My parents told me she was in command of their ship in a huge battle. They said she was a hero and the bravest person they ever knew. See, they thought highly of her. You know where you are right now? I know this is Cass... C Cassiopeia. I've been here since I was born. Well, that's how you say it. I know my mother and father were from Gemson or something like that. I bet it's like a thousand miles away. Cassiopeia. Okay. Sarah and I are glad we found you. Yeah? Well, I wish you wouldn't have taken so long. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona. <laughs> what a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. That was a sweet conversation. Phew. I don't even know where to begin. You're doing great, Sarah. Am I? I feel like a nervous wreck. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. I'll head up there right away. Good. Just be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory. Good thing we got ammo, that's for sure. This place is so cool. Save it. 
always almost dead. Not almost dead, but... We forgot to buy... When I say we forgot to buy health, you all didn't forget to buy health, but I did. I cannot wait till we find a star power that heals you. That's all I want. them out I guess oh what a shot okay so they're not too tough they're scavengers it says Now we save. We're gonna fight a big ball, aren't we? I hope. at me. That's a, that's a scary looking monster. These things look crazy. Good thing we got this Beowulf gun though. It, it literally just shreds them. Just, just absolutely shreds them. Oh. I can't wait till we can get a scope on it. All we need is stop by a store, buy exactly what we need, and we're good to go. Now this planet is so cool.
That was cool. No, 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 no. How many times do I have to say it? What? I said I don't want to go. Leave me alone. Oh. So no. Calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? Don't worry. We'll do whatever it takes to bring her to safety. I knew I could depend on you. Now all we have to do is convince this poor girl that she's better off leaving the planet with us. I just... I don't know if I have it in me to say the right things. I can hear you talking about me. <laughs> And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Yeah, I got your back, sir. Allow Sona to stay. No, we better not allow her to stay. That was a terrible, terrible idea. Let's just save and then start the persuasion. Why won't Sarah listen to me? She's worried about your safety. He cares a great deal about you. That doesn't make a lot of sense. She's only known about me for a little while. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had, does it? You really think this is the best place for you to live for the rest of your life? Mom and Dad told me there was a whole universe out there with thousands of planets. They showed me the maps and the star charts. That does sound pretty cool, but well, it's also kind of scary. It would be hard to leave the only home I've ever known. You won't be safe here forever. I like that one, but also like we want to find you an even better home. Well, I've always dreamed of finding a place that's safe from the monsters. But uh, leaving mom and dad behind, it's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. Even from far away, they'll always be close in your heart. Yeah, you're right. I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get, well, wherever we're going. You did it. Poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. I made the decision, so it'll be my fault if anything goes wrong. Yeah, I like that. Nonsense. We're in this together. It's just... We're ripping Sona from the only home she's ever known and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. I promise. Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go. Wait. He wanted... He wants to... He wants to tell us something at the, at the perfect spot. Is it happening? I think it's happening. They don't need this stuff anymore. These are books. I think we've already already seen a lot. 
Can we sleep for a second? <laughs> Think they would mind? Because I feel like we need to get some rest. Just a casual four hour sleep. I don't think they'll mind. Sarah's like, Sarah wanted to have an important conversation and we <laughs> just Get up him. and get going. We've got the stars to explore. Always watches us sleep. Can we talk later? I have a few things to pack. Yeah. What a great mission. This whole, this Sarah mission has been one of my favorites. Like going to this planet, discovering her past. This is really, really good. This is one of my favorites that we've done. I still think the United Colonies has definitely been my favorite. Least favorite so far has probably been the Free Star Collective, but I think the Free Star Collective is about to pick up. Oh, here we go. There. Is she finally going to tell us she loves us? Look, before we head back to the ship, I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. I'd do anything for you, Sarah. And I intend to repay you for that, even if it takes the rest of my life. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes, wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. He is so awesome. Like, really, a great character. So sweet. I'm hoping there's much more than simple gratitude tucked away in that statement. Perhaps. I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? Ah, <sighs> well. I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan, and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. He's in love with us. You can already tell. That was fun though. That was a lot of fun. This, honestly, that screenshot we took looks like a screenshot for the game, right? Like the, like a desktop background. That could be a desktop background. You all notice that Sarah never changes clothes? Well, I can't say anything. We haven't changed clothes in so, a long time. So, are you eating at the Sagebrook? Or is it just a quick snap from the Terra Brew? I would love a coffee. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep... They say you'll be scanned, but they haven't scanned us in a long time. We've never taken a picture here, have we? But we don't have space. I feel like there's a quicker way here. Maybe I clicked the wrong landing spot. I think I did, but it was lit up yellow. I forgot to look up where our parents live to see what they've been doing. They've been asking for us for Something a while. On your mind? I'm so excited to see Tony after work.
I think they think it's weird. You think she thought it was weird? Just flying straight over into the elevator. Nothing, nothing to see here. Yes, what? He's got to save it just in case. Yeah? The next time terror morphs rear their ugly heads, the UC is going to be ready. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? This mission wasn't for us. It was for the soldiers who own these gene tech. And we did it for the child that was marooned there. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. What's Sarah After her doing? parents died, <laughs> that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. There we go. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? No apology is necessary. We're just glad that this is over. Yes, of course. I think we can all agree that this was another unfortunate circumstance of the colony war. What you'd call an unfortunate circumstance, I call a tragedy. You're absolutely right, Sarah. It is a tragedy. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. Where's Sona? Oh, the lounge. Okay. Oh. Wow. Now that we're here, perhaps we could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning. We haven't relaxed at all, have we? I guess we need to talk. There you are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. I bet that was scary. Yeah, it was. I guess I'll have to be brave. You're already one of the bravest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillionaire, Sarah. <laughs> oh, don't I wish? This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? <laughs> You're, you're anti cerebral by your shift. Now, I'm going to say not yet. You still have a lot to learn. Exactly. And this is the perfect place to begin your education. I understand. Oh, and don't worry. I learn real fast. So you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well... I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. 
Oh, your father visited. He oh. seemed desperate or excited to find you. He left this note. Again? Well, oh, it was, wasn't it Pioneer Tower? It just hit me. You absolutely must come over now. Incredible news. Drop everything. Head over. All right. You heard that, sir. Drop everything. I near tower. Near tower. At the residential district, right? Wherever that is. I'm pretty sure it's Pioneer Tower. It just hit me. I might be wrong. Need to get to the the train tracks, which are right underneath. I have to admit, your abilities are making me a bit jealous. <laughs> Now she's getting jealous of our abilities? Let's visit the memorial first. I know dad said drop everything, but what does he know? Maybe he bought us something. There? Are we supposed to walk slow? Huh. So it's it for me to lead Sarah, but she's leading me. It's so weird. So I talked about this before, but your your jog speed is too fast. Your walk speed is too slow. There's no like you can't match the speed. Isn't that odd? You would think the walking speed would have been the same as. Or at least, like, there would be a button to follow an NPC or something. Look at this. All these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. You should be proud of everything you've accomplished since the war. I am proud. <laughs> I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. Blur, I only say these things because I care about you, Sarah. And I care about you, too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Yes? Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall. So we can talk in private. Let's go. Poor Sarah. Now we go to the waterfall. She's such a sweet character, though. Just I'm in love up. with her. What can I say? Bruce is in love as well.
How can you not? She's such a great character. Another day? She means good. Completely. She's only helped us. She's never said anything bad besides when she denied us. We have to remember when she, we flirted with her three times or four times. She denied us, but we stuck with her. We almost, we almost. Ah, oh, I've always liked that statue. We almost chose Andresia. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Now, is she going to follow me fast or is she walking? No, she's going to run. Okay. We've been here before at the very beginning of the game, if you Where remember we when we were exploring. What are we doing? Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's still here. <laughs> I can recognize that voice from anywhere. Oh my. <laughs> I completely forgot about him, honestly. I completely forgot. That's too funny. <laughs> He's always there. <laughs> oh, the adoring fan. What can you say, right? Oh, here we go. Everybody settle down. Everybody remain calm. Get the save just in case we mess this up. Big decision. When things at the lodge are too much, I love coming to this spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. Security scanners, chemical snippers, hmm, the United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Take a picture. It's me. Oh, never mind. Lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place. This exact spot. There's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. It's the perfect place to share with someone you care about. I hadn't thought of it that way. But you're absolutely right. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. This... this seemed like an ideal place to focus. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. <clears throat> I was... Hoping we could talk about something very important. It's time. You can tell me whatever's on your mind. Good, because I have a lot to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. But you're not alone. You have me. Maybe. But for how long? I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps. Hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. None of that is your fault. Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. Yes, he tried to push us away multiple times. Forget the past. Focus on what you have right now. Right now? Are you talking about Constellation? Or what exactly are you saying? 
Oh. I'm saying I love you, Sarah. Now and forever. <sighs> Sorry, I am... Um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. Yes! She said yes! She actually mathematically, she turned us down multiple times. Finally! I've been more than willing for a long time. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel... complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. That was a beautiful, beautiful moment. Wow. She finally opened up to us and told us she loved us. Wow. I received a message from my mother a few days ago. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. I wasn't aware your mother was still alive. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. We never discussed this, did we? The thing is, my mother and I don't talk very much. We're not estranged or anything of the sort. We're just far apart. I understand. Good. When I say that to most people, they look at me like I'm crazy. I don't think they realize how much control parents can exert on your life, especially when their dreams conflict with your own. I'm sure your parents meant well. Oh, I'm certain they felt they were doing the right thing. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department, without bothering to ask. You had no say in the matter whatsoever? Look, I was 18 years old, fresh out of school, and I idolized my parents. I trusted them. I'm certain they felt they were doing what was best for their daughter. Who was I to argue? Sounds like they wanted you to follow in their footsteps. Mm. Wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. So that's where you were bitten by the exploration bug. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. That must have been a difficult time in your life. Well... That wasn't the worst of it. You see, my father was killed during the opening shots of the Colony War. I returned to Jemison for the funeral and reunited with my mother. After that, we vowed to stay in touch. Oh no, let me guess they've never seen each they haven't seen each other since. I'm sorry to hear about your father. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? Always concerned with how I'm feeling. That's why I fell in love with you. Your smile, your caring. 
It brightens even my darkest days. Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Wait. What? Commitment? I'd like to spend our future together forever? Is she asking me to marry her? No way, right? Is she... <laughs> it... No, I doubt it. But I I'm definitely going to commit to her right now. I'd like to spend our future together forever. <laughs> you mean that? You do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just promise me that our love will last forever. I swear, I'll love you until forever itself ends. Ah, <sighs> I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you, right here beside me. She is such a sweetheart. But wait, are we getting married? We okay, that moved fast. Okay. Um. Wow. <laughs> so. Wow, that's that moved very quickly. How many days? Okay, twenty-five days. Wait, I thought earlier when we looked, it said thirty. 33. This can't be right. Is that right? Maybe it's 23. In 25 days? <laughs> well. When you know, you know. You fall in love. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Bruce knew the minute he met Sarah Morgan. He tried multiple times. Got turned down multiple times. You t when Sarah commits, wow, she full sin commits. <laughs> to put it lightly always a pleasure wait flirt can I tell you something sure but you better not make me cry being in love with you is like a dream come true you have no idea how badly I needed to hear those words I love you how are you feeling about our relationship? You're the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. My soulmate. You could break up with her there? No, no, no. I'm pleased to hear that, Sarah. Good. Anytime you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. God knows you've done that enough times for me. Leaving? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> I don't know what she means by that. <laughs> oh. He fell in love with us. What a beautiful thing. What What about, where's the marriage mission? I thought it just said. Maybe not. Okay. We're not there yet. But they, they we're engaged. Wow. So should we go try to find the residential district? What an episode, everybody. He said no multiple times. You all remember, I almost gave up. We almost chose Andresia, but then Andresia, I don't I've know. No He's awesome, you know. but, but there's always a but, right? <laughs> He's awesome, but. I don't know. She seems like she's keeping something from us completely. She's not being very open. And like, she always asks us like, do you like it? She basically is like, do you, you actually like it here? You actually like these people? But it, she kind of makes it seem like, like wait, you actually like everybody here in Constellation? I don't know. Pioneer Tower, there it is. Did we find it again? 
Wait, are we? I don't know if we want to take Sarah to our. Oh no! Are we taking Sarah to our? This is a bad idea. Or we could do salsa. I told you, my left feet have left feet. Wait. The activity will do you good. My. But dancing. I mean, couldn't we? I don't know. Do. Oh yes, anything. All right, dancing it is, but something beginner friendly, like fit for a toddler. <laughs> that Aquila City bank robbery story on SSNN, that was you, right? Yeah. Of course it was. Oh, I was so proud. My child on the news. I nearly dropped my drink. You were dealing with bank robbers? It was touch and go, but I managed to talk them down. You always did have a silver tongue. As soon as I saw that story, I talked with Linda. You know Mrs. Ming across the hall, and she didn't believe me. I swear our friends think we're making you up. I almost want you to show up in your finest constellation outfit at poker night, just so I can show them. I'll do that. I could show up with my ranger badge if you like. <laughs> Wait. You're a ranger too? <laughs> I swear. But next time, let us know you got a story coming on. Might save your dad from having a heart attack. I've got lifetimes this worth of so books cool. and videos to occupy me. So don't worry about me. I'm glad I chose the parent. Do I have news? <laughs> oh, your father has been as anxious as a kid on Christmas. Anyway... So, you know about my card game, right? Been playing for years. Yeah, poker. You talk about your poker night all the time. Do I? Well, I was in the game of my life. Me and another lady, we went all in and then some. After I called, she had four of a kind, queens. But I had an honest-to-God straight flush. Honey, he doesn't need to hear the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> so finally, I won. I won big, the biggest part of my life. That's wonderful and a little scary, but mostly wonderful. <laughs> I kept my poker face, even if I felt like letting my insides out. But the big kicker is, I won myself a ship. What? A real starship. It's real, sweetie. We, we went to the docks and looked at it and everything. Well, there's no way I'll ever fly it. So we had no idea what to do with the damn thing. And then it came to me. You. Yes. Wait, that's such an amazing gift. Wow. Your expression makes it totally worth it. All the paperwork's already been taken care of. Keep it, sell it. I don't care what you do with it. I just hope it makes up for all the money you keep sending home. That is so cool. The parent trade is the best in the game. And like, they're so sweet. Sweetie, I, I was just thinking of you. You never knew your grand grand, but she's about the only one like you in my whole family tree. Left home at an early age. Well, ran away, really. Became a UC Marine, if you can believe it. I don't think you've ever talked about her. Really? Well, I, I suppose it's ancient history. I... Only met grandma a few times. Oh, she was fierce. I swear. Her eyes almost glowed. Every time I saw her, she'd drill me on math. If I got her questions correct, she'd give me a treat. Once I got them all right and answered her bonus question, and she smiled. The only time I ever saw her do that. Most formidable woman I have ever met. Doesn't sound as sweet as you are, Mom. I think I would have liked her. I don't know why, but I really think you would. Well, I was going through storage, and I found her old armor. I... I think she'd like you to have it. You have that same thing. You're forging your own path, not just letting life toss you this way and that. Mom, I don't know what to say. You deserve it, sweetie. Oh! Enough of this. I don't want to make a scene. 
You need anything, sweetie? They okay. You're welcome anytime. Just so you and know. I mean, they're the best. mothers missed you. Like a lot. I can't believe it won't let you like include Sarah with it. But how sweet was that? That we got a new ship. We got a new ship. We are going to that new ship. We got a new ship. I wonder what kind of ship our dad just gave us though. Like, is this an awesome ship or... I don't, is there a fast way to get to the... I want the surface map, there we go. The fast travel to ship. We got new arm, Grand Grand's armor. We got to take a look at that. And then we also got a new ship. This is so amazing. That, that trade's it's the best. to be back on board. Picked up something you might be interested in. Got anything? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Okay, no problem. We have the Razor Leaf. What, what did they just get? The Wonder Well, right? Yeah, because we had the Razor Leaf one we got for that mission, Mantis, earlier. 622 mass. So it's let's compare it to our main ship. Here's our main ship. Oh, so it's better. It has less engine, but it's better. Everything else has more shield. It can't have as many crew at all. Our, our main ship's the main, but that's cool. Didn't it, didn't it show that we could sell our other ship for 49000 one time? Or did I make that up? But there you have it, everybody. That's a great place to end this episode. What a great episode it was. We did a lot. We got a new ship from our parents. Oh, we got to look at the armor. Forgot about Grand Grand's armor. Sensor array. Oh, it looks pretty awesome. It's not as good as what we have. Wait, pocketed? What does that mean? Must be a perk. What a game. What a great game, everybody. This might be one of my favorite episodes we've had so far. Bruce and Sarah are now in a relationship. We can go to sleep. Relax a little bit. Then wake up well rested for the next episode. But thank you all so much for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. Remember when I said I like to be close to you? Wait, what? Happy to listen. What did she just... It was nice talking to you again. <laughs> she just said... Before we go, we have emotional security. I think she was flirting with us there. But I will see you next time. Drop a like if you got some enjoyment. Subscribe for more. Check the full playlist in the description for more episodes. And I will see you in the next one. As always... Have a fantastic day, everybody.